Hey, welcome back guys. This is Zond again. This is my uh, Crix army. It's about 65 points worth of Crix. Uh, you can make a tier 4 um, army of uh, the, with the Iron Rich Gatsby here. Um, you can see there that uh, I've used several blending techniques for weathering and all type of stuff. Um, basically the way this army works, if, if it doesn't have regeneration, then it's uh, old and beaten up. But if it has regeneration like Death Jack here, it looks pretty much sparkling, you know. And that's basically how I did it. Um, some of the things are maxed out, some of the things are not. Um, Death Jack himself has some really cool looking uh, brutish features, as you can see there. The little skulls popping out of the bottom. The souls, I guess you could say. He's powered by Necro Energy. Um, I do have Kinker Worm. He's uh, another named model that uh, works very well with Gatsby. Yeah, sort of a synergy. Uh, he works with rec markers and everything. It's very cool looking miniature. Here's a, a bloat thrall. I'm not maxed out on these. I only have one. Uh, we just have a couple pictures of the same one because it's just a really cool miniature. Now this army here I'm going to be looking to sell. Uh, it's another one of these armies that I need to get rid of, like talking about it in my other videos and that type of stuff. Um, just trying to start up my own business, and you know, unfortunately, this means I have to try and uh, part with some of the armies I have. I'm um, coming up next is my uh, machine race. This is a maximum allotted number of these you can have. Works really good with War Machine, but if you're playing against hordes. Not a very good thing. I guess when you go to tournaments, you can uh, substitute them in and out. They only have a uh, point apiece, so it's a good substitute I've been told. This here is a Leviathan Jack. It's uh, an aquatic Jack. You can go in water or um, whatnot. Uh, pretty strong. I've only played a few games with it, so I really don't know it very well. But um, I haven't really played my cricks a whole lot, unfortunately, because I live in the middle of nowhere. And no one around any place. Um, coming up next is my Vile Thralls. Um, I really like the way Vile Thralls look. Just, I think they're a very cool looking army. The whole Thrall thing in, t in general. I don't know if Thralls are powerful by themselves, but boy, they're just fun looking. Here's a bunch of Mechanic Thralls. Mechanic Thralls. Um, there's 20 of them there. It's a very large unit. Uh, nearly max. I think the maximum you can have is 30. That's two maxed out 10 man squads in. Here's uh, three brute thralls. That is the maximum number of those. If you remember back uh, a while back, uh, brute thralls and mechan thralls were very hard to get. I don't know if they still are, but uh, yeah, I do have a fair amount of them. Here's a necro surgeon with three stitch thralls. Um, they work well with other flesh types. Um, as you kill things, they absorb hits. Uh, mechanic thralls and stitch thralls sort of work against each other, but they have a synergy with them as well. Here's uh, some scrap thralls. Scrap thralls are basically suicide bombers. They explode really easily. Um, they're also an energy source or resource for basically necrotex. And I have three necrotex, which is also the maximum allotted amount of those you can have. And they can repair jacks and whatnot, and uh, I think themselves. Um, coming up next is uh, two uh, Slayer Jacks. These Slayer Jacks are uh, the core, basically, of uh, Crips. Um, these are the metal ones. Um, here's some Sastix uh, Raiders with a Sea Witch. Uh, if you count the number of Jacks I have, that's four Jacks, five Jacks if you count the two names. If you don't play the names, you still have three Jacks. Um, here's the Sastix. Uh, see which by herself. I didn't go for exactly normal color schemes, but I think they're close enough that you could mix it in with your own and, and really appreciate how everything looks when it's all done. Now, the last miniature I have here is the pistol ray. And I only have one, and it's the older version model, not the newer one. Um, I sort of made like I did with the uh, machine race, like it's sort of coming out of ethereal. They're both e e ethereal creatures, so they can be either untouchable, but except by magic, or 
they can be uh, they can attack and then be affected by magic or non-magic items. Uh, here's the deck. I am actually putting a deck with the army. So if you buy one, you get the other. Um, if you have any questions or if you want me to try and match anything you have to this as far as the project, feel free to get with me. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please like it. It really helps me. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.